guys hope you are doing great uh, today's problem is kth largest element in an array it's a medium difficulty level question on lead code and one of the most top liked questions as well so the question states find the kth largest element in an unsorted array note that it is the kth largest element in the sorted order not the kth distinct element so for example in 3 2 1 5 6 4 if we were to find the second largest element the largest is the 6 and the second largest is 5 and that's our answer. Similarly, in 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, double 5, 6, the fourth largest element would be 4 because 6 is the largest, 5 second largest, 5 third largest and 4 fourth largest. So that shows us that we are not ignoring the duplicates, right? Uh, the question also says that we can assume that k is always valid, which means that k will always be between 1 and the length of the array. All right, so let's take a look at the various approaches we can use to solve any unsorted array question. Um, I request you to pause, take a look, think, and come back. Okay, so I think we have a very, very clear winner here today. It's top k elements because um, this approach is specific for questions around finding the top k smallest, largest, frequent elements of the array. So let's see how we implement that. So typically in questions uh, requiring us to find um, <clears throat> the top k largest or uh, top k smallest or more, more frequent or the closest, <clears throat> sorry, uh, we we need to use a min heap or a max heap and it has been my observation that um, whenever you have to find the largest element, um, you, you can use a min heap and when you have to find the smallest, you can use the max heap. So this has been my observation. I would request you guys to have a look at similar such questions, maybe four or five and understand and validate this approach. Um, so in Java, the priority queue is an implementation for heap. Okay. Um, the default implementation is that of a min heap. Um, so min heap would always ensure that the smallest element is at the tip of the heap, right? Um, in this question, we would need to use min heap. Um, and that is why uh, we don't need to play around with the comparator, right? Uh, there would be other questions where we would, we would need to, and we will look, look uh, there how we can um, override the compare method. So, so, so the approach for this would be that we'll just take a priority queue uh, which is the min uh, heap implementation. And let's say we insert 3 into it. Um, since 3 is the only element, there wouldn't be any heapification. And we'll check that is, is the size of the priority queue more than k. So we, we would always want the priority queue to go beyond k. So k plus 1. And then do the heapification. Uh, and then in those elements, whatever is the... Uh, smallest element, we will eliminate that, right? So we, we insert 3, um, fine. Uh, size is 1, not more than 2. We insert 2, heapification occurs, 2 is at the top, and then 3. Still the size is not more than 2. We insert 1, heapification occurs, it's 1, 2, and 3 now, and the size is 3. So now we eliminate the element at the tip of the heap, which is 1. So we are left with 2 and 3. Now, uh, now we insert 5. So heapification occurs 2, 3 and 5. And again, the size is more than 2. So 2 gets eliminated. Similarly, when 6 comes in, 3 will get eliminated. And when 4 comes in, 4 itself will get uh, eliminated. So at the end, when we um, need to return an answer, all we have to do is just return the element at the top of the priority queue, which is going to be 5, and that's going to be our answer. So if you observe here at every step, whenever we are adding a new element, we have for that particular number of elements, the kth largest. So this could be 
used when you have to find the kth largest element in a stream as well, right? So the only difference would be that every time you add a new element, uh, before eliminating, you could just um, capture that and add it into an array or whatever is the desired output collection like. Okay, so let's implement this now. Uh, implementation for this is pretty quick. We just take a priority queue of the type integer, name it just priority queue, priority queue. Okay, now uh, let's just iterate through all elements of nums. Okay, so we first add it okay to the priority queue we have added it now let's check if the size as i was discussing we want it to go to p uh, k plus one right so that's why we add it after that we check is the size greater than k if yes we just do a pq dot cool okay right so at the end, we just have to return the element at the top and that's pq.bot. Okay, let's just try to run this code. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sorry. We have to return this. Cool, let's submit it. Great. So the time complexity, right? The time complexity for this would be O of n log k. Um, that's generic because log k is for the heapification that occurs internally of priority q. That's that's like a constant um, that you can that's a constant time complexity uh, that you can always use in cases where using where you're using priority queue. So log k is that, and we'll be doing it n number of times because we'll be doing that for each element. So that gives us O of n log k. And the time complexity is this. The space complexity would be O of k because um, or k plus one because we'll always be storing that many number of elements in the priority queue, not more than that. So that would be our space complexity. So guys, if you've really liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Keep coding and take care.